Remarkables is mysterious, sad, wish-fulfilling, and hopeful. The Remarkables is about a girl named Marin who feels like everything is changing in her life. She's about to start middle school, she has a new baby brother, and she and her family have just moved from Illinois to Pennsylvania. She's also still feeling very upset about something that happened with her two best friends back in her old hometown. And while she's coping with all of that, the first day in the new house, she goes out to explore in the backyard and sees this group of teenagers in a neighboring yard who seem just really happy and very friendly with each other. And she's fascinated by that. She just wants to be one of them. Then suddenly they all disappear. And she's baffled by this. They reappear and she's not sure if it's magic She's not sure if they're superheroes. She's not sure if there's some weird science experiment that she's seeing, but she feels like she has to figure it all out to be able to cope with the new life that she has. And then she meets a boy named Charlie who says that he knows what's going on with those teenagers. But does he? The Remarkables is different from Greystone Secrets, partly because it's a standalone and kids can figure out the whole mystery in just one book. The other thing that's very different, in Greystone Secrets, the three kids are certain that there's a logical answer that's going to explain everything. And they just think that all they have to do is find more clues, figure out more answers, and everything will make sense. In Remarkables, Marin isn't sure what she's looking at. When you label something, well, maybe it's just magic. It's not so much that you're looking for a logical answer, you're trying to figure out what it means. And her big question is, why am I seeing the Remarkables? And how does it change my life that I've seen them? 